Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the internet. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be showing you the quick and simple way to change your IP from strict or moderate to open. Now I have recently been having problems with my IP. It was strict, it used to be moderate, and now of course it's open. So you might have watched several like, tutorials on YouTube and none of them have worked for you. None of them worked for me either until I found out this one simple way. And I feel like it should be publicized more so people can see how I did it. So the first thing you want to do is go to your dashboard, then scroll over all the way to settings. Click on system settings, then go to network settings. Right here you can see is my wireless network. Everyone else has showed their wired network working. I'm here to show my wireless network. So you click on this, and then do text, test Xbox Live connection, test yeah sure thing and of course it's going to go and test the network connection so as you can see xbox 360 nsys to internet of course that is my internet my uh, networking and that should connect then it should connect to xbox live in a minute here we'll just give it a few more seconds and of course having the slowest internet in the world probably doesn't help much but as you can see blah 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 your current network configuration may limit your online experience alright so click cancel next what we want to do is just completely back out I won't went too far to you right here then do configure network and as you can see here you have your IP settings Normally when you're going through this, people will tell you to go to manual. I'm telling you, do not do that at all. The thing that has worked for me and is easiest to me is you click automatic, and right here you should see that it says gateway 192.168.9.1 and the IP address 192.168.9.105. So the one thing you're going to need to remember is your IP gateway and do 105. So that's the one I'm going to be saving, and I'll see you on my desktop. Alright, guys. So, what we're going to need to do next is open up whatever Internet Explorer you prefer. So, in this case, I'm going to be using Google Chrome. And you're going to go over to your default gateway. So, to check this, you do run. Or if you have Windows 7, you can do the shortcut, which is just CMD. And you should get a CMD window to pop up. Next, what we want to do is type in IP config and scroll all the way to the top where it shows your local link, IPv4, subnet, and default gateway. We're going to be using the default gateway. This is also found on your Xbox. So we'll go ahead and type that in at the top of your URL or in the search bar, wherever it might be, and click enter. And as you should see, this is your internet page. So I'm using Linksys, and what you want to do is go over to Applications and Gaming. Now you can see that I have three different Xbox links. I have the Xbox Link 1, Xbox Link 2, and Xbox Link 3. These are all ports that allow for different things on the Xbox. Now what you're going to need to do is set your external and internal ports to what you find on this page. So for the first one, it will be 80, 80. Second one is 3074, 3074. And the third one is 53, 53. Now make sure they're all set to both. And then whatever your automatic... IP address was set to on your Xbox. For example, as you can see, mine was 105. Then you want to check mark these three and you're done on this page. You have two simple quick steps left and you're done. Make your way to the administration and down here you should see the UPNP. You want to make sure this one is enabled, enabled, disabled. Then make your way over to security. You should make sure that the middle two are not selected while the outer two are selected.